Hannah and I am the creator behind Fabulous Knitwear. I have a few bits and pieces to share, there's not overly much. I have some finished stuff and new colourways and a couple of products. So let's just dive straight in and first off, thank you for joining me, whether you are new or a returning viewer. So lovely to have you here today. I'm. This is a knitting, hand dyeing creative type of pod video cast so whip up your knitting and grab yourself a lovely, lovely cup of something to drink and let's have fun let's yeah let's dive straight in as i said with a finished object which is what i'm wearing i'm wearing my minerva cardigan which is one of my patterns it's a pattern from the hallows collection which i published autumn 2018 so long. <laughs> I showed you this in the works last episode where when I was working, when I was still knitting it. I, if you watched last episode, you will know that I blundered with my Forestbury jacket, which I knit in the same yarn. This is knit in my hand dyed yarn, Fabulous Knitwear hand dyed yarn, in the base Usk, which is a Norwegian spun wool from Hillersburg. It's a heavy fingering light sport weight in the colorway Wizard's Robes. My favourite, and uh, I used the same yarn but in a different colour, in the colour Fay, for the Frostbury jacket. But I didn't check my gauge, which was I can't even say a rookie mistake because I'm not. I wish I could use that as an excuse. I was just lazy, and my gauge was off and it's too big. It's still wearable. But it's not. I I don't reach for it as much as I would have if it fit the way I wanted it to. So. For this, I went down from a 4mm needle, which the pattern calls for, which I used on Frostbury jacket, and I went down to a 3.5mm needle for this, and it's perfect. It fits so well. It's just the way I wanted it to be. Met gauge and everything, and it still works great with the yarn uh, for that needle. I'm so happy with it. This is my Minerva cardigan. It's a slightly cropped fitted, a cardigan with puff shoulders knit to look like a 1930s 1940s style garment if you want to know more about the patterns that i mentioned just in all the episodes you can go back and look at the hallows collection episode where i introduce them and talk about them in more detail just if you haven't already and that would be of interest so yeah i've got so much Blue from me. <laughs> so this is the back view, the other side, and yeah. The buttons, these are my buttons, these are the Fabel Rose buttons which I published what, before Christmas? <laughs> I can't remember now. It's my newest button, I had, it comes in two colours, gold and silver. It's a 18mm shank button in depicting a peony, a peony in my logo. Fun fact. Let me come closer and show you properly because I love the combination of the deep, deep garnet red with this gold. I think it's stunning. Totally tooting my own horn. That's allowed, right? See? There you have it. I'm wearing this day with my new dress from Hearts and Found. I've been looking for a brown, simple dress for so long and I finally found one. It's handmade in Vietnam. She's an extremely talented tailor or seamstress. I'm going to show you the dress. It has nothing to do with knitting. But I want to show you anyway. It feels so pretty. Look at this dress. It's so nice. I can't even. Oh. This is the most gorgeous dress. I want this in all the colours. I think I'm going to ask for one. Ask for one. Wish for one for Christmas. Black and red and white. All the colours, I think it's gorgeous. So nothing to do with knitting, just look at my pretty dress. That's all I wanted to say. 
So this is my finished object I wanted to share. I have two more finished objects, but they're from a part of my new collection, the heirloom collection, and I'm not ready to share them yet. Um, it's, it will be called, as I said, the heirloom collection. It will consist of three patterns for the Pickles Window Session collection. Uh, or not a collection, the Pickles Window Session. That's it. Uh, they sometimes invite designers to design for them and have a display in their shop window in Mikevain in Oslo. And it's previously been a huge success and it's always such fun to see the collaborations and what they come up with. I have completely free reign, so I can do whatever I want, really. Uh, they're very good like that and I get the window. Uh, so I'm designing three patterns inspired by three decades of the 20th century so there's i'll tell you their names why not there's the antiquity blouse which i have actually posted a quick or just quick a small sneak peek of on instagram if you want to check that out there is the decadence blouse which i just sent out to test knitters like half an hour ago and last but not least, and that's still on my needles, that's the folklore blouse. Folklore. So, yeah, you, you're more than welcome to guess the decades. That would be really fun, just from the names and maybe the sneak peek you saw on um, Instagram of the first one. So that's happening. That uh, The date is not set yet, but sometime this spring, maybe May. I'll keep everyone posted when I know more and pickles know more as well. So that's what I'm working on, and and I am not ready to share. So that's probably not as interesting. When the time comes, I'll do a proper full episode and share it with you properly. I have a few other bits and bobs to share today. I have received my Nipristra needle case. I already have the pink one which I purchased a year ago and I love it but I this color wasn't available then and I couldn't help myself because it is my favorite color and I'm not one for having I this is a very practical thing and when I have it I don't need loads but I just couldn't help myself so now I can now I can change between the two colors depending on the season and all that stuff I'm so happy with this This is the size small needle case, which fits my, I'm working with mohairs, there's hair everywhere. I'm working, this fits my interchangeable needles. So I've got all the needles based on size and I've got cables and measuring tape and scissors and all the bits and bobs that you need in this super clever little contraption it fits everything you need and it's so easy to carry around and keep organized that i don't think there's any way you can make this messy don't take that as a challenge but it's so organized and pretty and decorative and all the things packed into one it's from krista uh, i have a backpack from her as well and i'm so happy i use it pretty much every day i love it so i got this i purchased it before christmas and then it arrived when I'd already travelled to the States, so I didn't get to pick it up until January. But now I have it, and I love it. There are several sizes, I think I said. Um, and pick, if you're interested in one, just figure out what, what you need to fit your needles. I use interchangeables and stuff, yeah. I have paid for this. I'm not... I'm plugging it because I love it. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. I also have something I have not paid for, which I was asked if I wanted to try. And I figured, sure, it's knitting related, why not? And I've not tried it before. It's curved DPNs from Neko. I have never used these before. I use Magic Loop when I do sleeves. And I'm not a big sock knitter, although I've said before I really want to try. I would love to have hand socks. Just can't find the time. Here they are. So, I see they are DPNs, but so double pointed needles, but they're curved. So, in theory, you should just keep knitting in the round while swapping one out. I've not tried it yet, 
This is, let me take this out of the case. Kind of the guide for what it should look like. If you have you tried double pointed curved needles, do you like it? I'm really interested interested to try. I don't mind the magic loop, but sometimes if I'm doing like textures or colour work or lace or something, it's so fiddly and I oh it's, it's yeah, it's not the most fun. Uh, process. So I'm really interested to see how these work out. These are three millimeter needles and then I was also sent four millimeters because that's what I mostly use. The only thing is they're not wooden and I prefer wooden needles. So I do hope they make the larger sizes as well in wood, bamboo but very excited to just see what they're like. These are from Nickel, as I said. I will send these. It is a German company. And once, once I've tried them, I'll give you a proper review. But yeah, that's it. Thank you. I also have, I just finished, yesterday I finished dyeing up the yarn for the Easter egg. I did a sort of mystery club Easter egg, it's not going to be sent in an egg, uh, kind of like an advent calendar but just one parcel for Easter day uh, where as a child we, I'd at least, and we'd get Easter eggs but who wouldn't rather have yarn because you can buy your own chocolate. So that's, I put out pre-orders for them earlier this year and they are being shipped out hopefully next week when everything's been skinned up and everything's got labels and stuff and been packed properly. I have the most beautiful wrapping paper for them. I love it. And just everything. I'm just really excited about them. They could choose between singles, uh, one skein or two skeins and it's all a mystery. I'm going to do an episode introducing the colourways and everything properly after, to be published after the, my lovely customers have of course opened. <laughs> their parcels, their Easter eggs, but, yeah, but they, I'm finished dyeing them, I'm so happy with the colours, so that's to come, uh, I've also finished dyeing everything for Christian Sandstrik Festival, which is the first festival I'll be banding at, which is March 20th to 22nd in Christian Sand, and this is, uh, in, oh, why is this so difficult, blah, 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm in southern Norway <laughs> is what I was trying to say I've never been there uh, in general so that's really that's gonna be really fun my partner is coming along you think <laughs> he said he wants to we'll drive down and then take the weekend I mean the festivals there the whole weekend but that's gonna be nice I'm so excited if you're going let me know I would love to know who's going and I would encourage everyone to go. I know Oslo Strik Festival, Oslo Jan Fest, isn't happening this year. So if you're know, interested in looking for other festivals to go to, maybe that's maybe that's the one. But I finished dying for that and it is it's a month. I've still got a month until it happens. So I'm giving myself a pat on the shoulder for that because last autumn I was literally dying up until the last minute <laughs> of each festival. So this time I'm starting, I've got a good head start. The next festival happening is Stockholm Yarn Fest, which is the 24th to 26th of April. It will be the first time I've ended abroad and I'm so excited, Stockholm is gorgeous. And that's another, I, <laughs> Edinburgh isn't happening this, this year either. So if you're looking for another sort of northern festival, maybe that's the one. It's the first time they're vending it or hosting it, so it's really exciting. Yeah, I haven't started dying for that yet. I'm going to do that first week of March, and that still, I'm still a month ahead, which I'm positive about. I think that's going to be good. And I have autumn isn't set yet. Once everything's set and confirmed, I will let everyone know. I have some new colours to share that I will be bring, bringing to where am I working? Christian's on <laughs> and Stockholm and I might if I have time do an update 
um, a, a shop update uh, before that. Let's start with the first one, which is Iliana. So Iliana is a really mellow pink. Um, pink. Why am I saying really mellow yellow? It's like creamy, buttery, really, really pale, and I love this. I think it's so subtle and nice. I have it on. This is Bonnie, my fingering white blue face Lester. I also have it on Athena, which is my Marina Gold Stellina base. And the name is a Wheel of Time name <laughs> um, from Eliana Sunhair because it was so golden and creamy buttery. So this is one of the new colours. I also have Petal, which is a new pink. It's a dusty dusty pale pink it's a lot dustier than storybook which is another pink that i have i think this one's a bit more elegant while the other one's a bit more fun if those are proper like suitable adjectives i love this this is on usk pink on usk someone asked for that so i figured i'll make a new pink so this is coming and then the last new colourway that I have with me today is New Spring. New Spring is a warm, like a warm eucalyptus, warm aloe vera type colourway with speckles of darker green and emerald and moss. And I also have it on Athena. This again is Bonnie. This is Athena. This is Usk. And I've also dyed it up on Maple, but it was drying when I left the studio last night. So, yeah. New Spring, which is also a Wheel of Time name because I'm reading Wheel of Time and I'm obsessed. Rereading Wheel of Time. So, yeah, these are the new colours Iliana, Petal, and New Spring. If you would like a shop update with these, just drop me a message and I'll try to prioritise it. With You can write in whichever basis you would like them on and all that stuff. I will do my very best to get those out as soon as I have time. There is also a knit along happening at the minute, the Diagonally Cal, or the Diagonally Knit Along, where you can, where you join by knitting the Diagonally Jumper, a, a pattern from my Magical Places collection, which I published, published autumn 2019. It lasts until April 1st and you can join on Ravelry and on Instagram. On Instagram just use the, use the hashtag DiagonallyCal and then for Ravelry there's a group where you can post and just yeah, join, come join. There's, there's such fun to see what everyone's making. Just the inspiration, well I get very inspired seeing the colours you choose and how you style them and all that stuff. And. There will be prizes. There will be two, potentially three prizes. One chosen at random from Instagram and one at random from Ravelry. And I might pick a favourite. Maybe. Unless that's bad form. I don't know what you think. Um, the winners will receive one skein of my yarn. You can choose the base and colour yourself. I figure that's, that's a decent prize, isn't it? So, that's happening head over to the Ravelry group for more information and guidelines and all that fun stuff. Apart from that, that's the only knit-along happening. 
Well, we're at it. Let's have a look, shall we? What you're making. talking about hashtags and all that stuff. Just a reminder that when you use them, I love it. I Because I follow all my hashtags, so it pops up on my feed and I'm so happy that you knit these patterns and share them with the world and with me. So just an encouragement to keep using the hashtags when you knit my patterns because it just, if only for the sole purpose of making my day. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you care to stick around, hit the subscribe button. Why is this difficult to say again? <laughs> hit the subscribe button below. Yes. And uh, yeah, tag along whenever there's a new video. I, oh, yes, I, now I think of something to say. <laughs> I just posted a couple of tutorial, tutorial videos. It might be easier if I exaggerate my English today. Apparently it was very difficult. Um, tutorial videos uh, for, what was it, bubbles and increases. And a couple for my new patterns that aren't out yet. But yeah, just a heads up, I do have tutorials if you're stuck on something. So just so I've said it. <laughs> Apart from that, I'm all done. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.